Welcome to the Big Relaxing Show. Welcome, welcome. I'm doing a new filter, a butterfly filter. Bam, bam, bam. Hey, um, Ellie May. Welcome to the Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Hey, Sweet Brown 83. Welcome to the Three Waxing Show. Hey, E Bunny. Welcome to the Three Waxing Show. I'm Simply Unique. Welcome to the Three Waxing Show. If you are new, let me know where you're coming from so I can greet you properly. I don't usually go live on Saturdays, but I wanted to because I didn't really go live yesterday. Um. And I want to talk about, you know, using the pads on your bikini line, because I've got some questions on that. Um, hi from Connecticut. Welcome from Connecticut. Sweet Brown 83. CT, I think that's Connecticut. Um, Latoya, welcome to the three, welcome back to the Three Waxing Show. Good to see you. Oh, this gives you little freckles too. This, um, I don't know. Okay. So, uh, for those of you who are new, welcome. If you're coming back, thanks for coming back. Welcome back. Um, yeah, I wanted to go over, for those of you trying to clear your bikini line of ingrowns or uh, razor bumps, I wanted to talk about how to use the pads. So, I'm going to just get into it. Uh, it's like a typical show, I go over announcements. Um, which the biggest thing that's going on right now is the pad. So if you saw, I had a poll on my stories. Uh, did I, no, I don't have a poll on my teeth. I had a poll of the stories asking if you wanted the clear jar of pads or the uh, white jar of pads. If you see that reel on my uh, feed, you can go and vote. Uh, I'm going to look through the votes. And then uh, I'm working with the lab right now to figure out uh, how we're going to do it. There was a lot of votes for the, there was a lot of votes for the clear jar. Hey, Mrs. Watson. Um, welcome to the Big Waxing Show. Hey, Brie, welcome to the Big Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Hey, Still City, welcome to the Big Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. So I'm just talking about um, the votes for how you guys want the new pads to look like. Because I like your input because it's products that you will be using. And so I think it's really cool if you can have input in them. And I, all, I make all my products for my clients. Hey Beauty Talk with V. Welcome to the Big Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. So the clear was popular. The clear jar. But the thing about the clear jar, and two people brought this up, two regular clients of mine, shout out to Jess um, and Zenovia. Uh, shout out to them. They brought up the fact that they didn't want the sun to affect the chemicals in the pads. And that happens a lot. That's why you see vitamin C's in dark jars. Um, still, Sididi said, um, hi from Lynchburg, Virginia. Welcome, welcome, good to have you here. Uh, Beauty Talk with V is from Barbados. I just had a call with somebody from Barbados yesterday or the other day, two days ago. Welcome from Barbados. Barbados. Um, I put it with a T, it's not a T, Barbados. Welcome, glad to have you guys here. Um, I go live usually Wednesday through Friday, but today Saturday I really wanted to get on because it was on yesterday. And I usually I have a topic that I go over. Uh, today will be about waxing. The next month will be about waxing. Oh no, sorry. It will be about the pads and ingredients and skincare and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and I'll get into my intro. I just want to do the announcements first. So the Acme and Grown Pads, the clear jar. One way that if enough people want the clear jar, I'm going to see how making labels will protect the pads. And then if the label itself doesn't protect the pads, then I'll look into some UVA options. I asked about having the plastic UVA and um, I don't think that can be done, but 
I'm working behind the scenes, working with the lab, so that's just the update of what's going on. Hey Aesthetics by Arlena. Welcome back to the 3B Waxing Show. Welcome, welcome. So yeah, that is the announcement. So uh, for those of you who are new, I'm going, I go into the intro every time I do the show. It just lets you know who I am and how I help people and the different things that I offer. So you can see if um, the show is for you, if my services are for you, if my products are for you, or anything I do is something that you're interested in. Um, and then I go into the topic for today, which is how to use the pads for your bikini line. Hey, um, Sneak Cute. Welcome to the Thibu Watching Show, Aesthetics by Arlena. Hello, waving back at you. So, welcome all of you, uh, whether you're new, uh, coming back, or watching the replay. Welcome to the Thibu Watching Show. Welcome to the Thibu Watching Show. And so you remember, welcome to the Thibu Watching Show. My name is Becca. I'm a pro waxer, skin therapist, and I'm a licensed esthetician since 2010. Uh, when you are getting skin care information from someone, you do want to see if they are licensed. Um, as a licensed esthetician, I'm licensed in the state of California and the state of Arizona in the United States. I help people remove unwanted hair, and that's unwanted hair from the hairline to the toes, uh, acne that's anywhere on the body, ingrowns, ingrown hair bumps, and discoloration caused from acne and ingrowns. I do this through obviously my pads that I talk about all the time, which I'm talking about today. Uh, waxing with hard wax, uh, because I know that hard wax is very gentle on the skin. And so if you're sensitive, you wanna opt for hard wax. I do this through chemical peels, facials, and various products that I offer. Sell some on the ground, sorry, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm known for my acne ingrown pads and the fruit enzyme pads because I believe that chemical exfoliants are really good for your skin. They're great for sensitive skin. Uh, if you're waxing, shaving, you want to include a chemical exfoliant in your routine. And um, I started the pads in 2017 for my clients, and it's grown from there. We've shipped in the US, the UK, Canada, UAE, and the Netherlands. I actually had a package. We just recently go to Amsterdam. Um, I also help estheticians start their own product line. Start, because I like to help people with the stuff that I've learned. So um, I train estheticians on starting their own product line, starting their own salon suite, attracting clients, and improving their waxing techniques. So I do wax trainings and all that. Um, hey, O'Derry. Oh dear, Bryant, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. I'm sorry if I said your name incorrectly. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. So that's what I do and how I help people. Uh, tune in on Wednesday, Wednesday through Friday at 3.26 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. To be honest with you, I'm not in America right now. And so the show may be at different times, but um, I'm still gonna be going live. Uh, I go live about waxing, so if you want to join the email list to know when I go live about waxing, you can join the Wax Lounge. If you want to know when I go live about skincare and skincare ingredients, join the lab. And then if you are an esthetician and you want to know when I go live about helping you attract clients, uh, do your own uh, skincare line or uh, improve your waxing, then you want to join the salon team. So let's get into it, the pads. So uh, I talk a lot about this and you guys can check out old shows about the ingredients in the pads. Uh, but they have salicylglycolic and lactic acid. Just click the link in the bio, last button goes to my YouTube channel and a lot of the shows on here are on there. Lactic acid, salicylic and glycolic acid are very, very good ingredients to have if you struggle with ingrowns and acne. The lactic acid exfoliates the skin, but it also moisturizes it so it's not drying you out. It also helps with the hyperpigmentation that happens after you get acne or ingrowns. Salicylic acid goes into the pore and pulls all that bacteria out. And then uh, glycolic eats away at the dead skin cells. So if you have brighter skin, uh, it's get, helping when the salicylic pulls that stuff out, it's eating away at the top. 
as well as if you get ingrowns, um, it's loosening up the hairs that get trapped in the dead skin. So those are the three things that happen when you use my acne and ingrown pads. So if you're using them on your bikini line, when you first get your package, you are going to want to apply them on your bikini um, area. You can apply it on your whole entire area, but just not inside the lips. So you can do it on the outer lips because some people get uh, ingrowns on the outer part or the yeah the outer part of the lip. Hey Wanda, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Wanna wipe it? When I say it's your first time using the pads, I recommend waiting 15 minutes and then rinsing it off to see how strong you need it. So if you if it's tingling a lot after two, three minutes, then you wanna rinse off and you realize that, okay, I can stick with two to three minutes and go up from there. Um, but after 15 minutes, if you are like, oh I don't really feel much it's good then you can just leave it on I say do the 15 minute sensitivity test hey uh, Shalanda welcome to the 3B waxing show if you're new let me know where you're coming from doing the sensitivity test and you should be doing this with all your products but doing them with the pads is a good way to uh, discover how much pad you will need uh, how much of the pads you will need uh, so hey lap Davis welcome to the 3B waxing show Shalanda is from Tacoma, Washington. Welcome from Tacoma. Good to have you. So uh, that is how to use them the first time. Then from there, you can apply it and rinse it off, like I said. So you could wait the 15 minutes and then rinse it off. It depends on your skin and what you need. Most people use it, just apply it, sleep in it, and then rinse it off in the morning. If you're really prone to ingrowns, you may need to be applying twice a day and throughout the, like, in the morning you apply it, you go about your day with it on, and then uh, in the evening you apply it. You can apply serums and lotion after you apply the pads. So the pads are exfoliating. Uh, Shalanda said, thank you. You are so welcome. The pads are exfoliating and the great thing about them is that they are exfoliating your skin while you're leaving them on your skin. So if you apply it to your bikini line and just leave it there, it's doing the work for you while you're sleeping or doing whatever you're doing. Also, if you apply it and just leave it there and rinse it off, it's still doing work. So um, it's doing its work even though you've rinsed it off. Um, hey, spiritual pleasure. Pleasures, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. So that is how to use them on your bikini line. Are there any questions? Hey, Thazen Zuri. Hopefully I said that right. Welcome to the Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. D Brown, welcome to the Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. So we are talking about the pads and how to use them on your bikini line. So if you have ingrowns or um, razor bumps on your bikini line, then you can use the pads to clear that up or if you need an exfoliant for your bikini line then you can use the pads as well so it helps with prevention of ingrowns um, pre fighting in the ingrowns and then uh, bringing down razor bumps and the fourth one is exfoliating regularly so your shaves are cleaner or your waxes are cleaner, whichever one you're doing. Because when you exfoliate, you're gonna get a better, um, you get a better result for waxing or shaving. Hey Amir, 0118, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Spiritual pleasures, yes. Um, asked or said, hi, yes, I am new. 
is how do you get rid of blackheads in an intimate place and I am from North Carolina well welcome from North Carolina so you want to use the pads exfoliate that's the word exfoliate exfoliate um, and like I was saying the salicylic acid in the pads that is what is going to go into that blackhead it goes into the whiteheads too but every bump always starts out as a blackhead fun fact but um it's basically a closed and open comedone is the actual name for it but salicylic acid goes into the port and will pull help pull that stuff out shalanda asks is waxing better than threading um it depends on what you're looking for they both grab the hair from the root so they both are going to thin out the hair i don't do threading because i don't find it that sanitary to put that thing the string in my mouth i did learn at one point and i was like this isn't for me to do um the thing about waxing that threading doesn't give you is that waxing is a form of exfoliation so you like you don't need to use the pads right away after you've gotten wax because you just got a great exfoliation you can wait three days to use the pads because waxing um, removes dead skin so you, it looks brighter and uh, cleaner and less dull it helps with removing the ingrowns as well so uh with threading you're just removing the hair with waxing you're removing dead skin and the hair hey jcvs welcome to the 3b waxing show uh if you are new let me know where you're coming from spiritual pleasures Yes, says thank you. You are welcome. Any other questions? If you found this information useful, there's two guides you can grab. I have one that I wrote about Brazilian waxing, everything about Brazilian waxing, because I truly love giving Brazilian waxings, getting them. Um, I came from having really bad ingrowns and boils and waxing changed my life because my whole life is now around it um so i have the brazilian wax guide that you can grab click the link in the bio it's free to grab and then i also have an exfoliating guide so if you're like new to exfoliation and you're not sure some of the benefits then i wrote a guide for that so i have two of those to help you on your journey for clear skin Still, Sididi says, do you have to rinse after you use the pads? Good question. No, you do not. I say the first time it's good to do it because it's called a sensitivity test to see um, where your skin's at. Like, oh, is that tingly? Then I need it for less time, but it's just for the sensitivity test. So with the pads, you can you put them on and just leave it on for the rest of the day. And and apply afterwards your if you want to do vitamin C but you can apply your vitamin C to your bikini line um, as well and the reason you would do that this is kind of a little bit off the subject but I would I want to help people who maybe they're using the pads and they've got rid of their ingrowns but they have dark spots afterwards is um, you can use vitamin C afterwards after you put applying the pads and then put your lotion on and it will help lighten those areas as well. So you're working on the ingrowns and then um, the dark spots. And I will say this, uh, if you're consistent, it's gonna make a difference because I'll be honest with you, there were, I just got back in stock with the pads like two and a half weeks ago or three. And I, when, when I was out of stock, I, I was personally out of stock. So I didn't exfoliate for like two and a half weeks. And I got some ingrowns. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, and I could have, I did exfoliate a little bit with the physical exfoliant tree hut, but it's not the same. So I recommend being consistent, consistency with everything, right? Shalanda says, awesome. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. She said, I have done both electrolysis and laser and still have hair on my chin. It's gray. What can I do to get rid of it? So you bring up a great point, Shalanda that laser does not get rid of the hair it's advertised like that i've had laser um i just was talking to an estrogen we had a very good discussion about this uh because she had laser as well 
and um, she has clients who have who've gotten laser and get waxed regularly I have clients who have had laser and get waxed regularly and it's a shame because it's marketed as oh it's gonna remove the hair but it doesn't do it permanently for most people um so the only thing I would recommend doing is so I had laser at a place that was really really good um, but I felt like it didn't do much it helped a little bit with ingrowns but it didn't do much with the hair the girl that I was talking to who's an esthetician she went to laser away and I know they're really known and she said she's had really good results um, and so I was like, well, maybe their lasers are different. So I was like, maybe one day I'll try that. So that's what I'll say to you for that, the hair removal. It is harder that it's gray because the laser does find the pigment. So the only thing I would say is wax regularly. My clients who have uh, hair on their chin, they will come to me every two weeks. We'll do a full face wax or just the chin and sideburn wax and they'll use the pads for their ingrowns uh not saying you have ingrowns but that's what they do and they use the pads to get the wax the hair out better because sometimes if you don't exfoliate and you're getting wax you're not getting all those hairs and then like three to four days later you're already hairy so the best thing i say for my clients is just come every two weeks to get waxed um and it will help thin it out. It won't completely get rid of it, but it will thin it out and it will be more manageable to do. Hey, just uh, Winno Winoka, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. If I'm saying that incorrectly, I do apologize. Hey, uh, Marvellous Fashion, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. So yeah, any other questions? Shalanda said yes exactly mm -hmm. she lives for love welcome to the waxing show so if there are no other questions um, very good questions uh, that I am going to get off but uh, do grab those the Brazilian wax guide and the exfoliating guide if you want to know about exfoliating more and then if you want to know about Brazilian waxing more there's some other guides I have too as well and some things that you can purchase as well but uh, yeah because my goal is to help you feel uh, confident and make being confident sexy and beautiful your reality so whatever that means to you so wherever the the area that you want to work on I'm here to help. It's my goal. Uh, still, Sididi says, thank you for your time. You are so welcome. Shalanda says, I will be buying your pads. Is there a link here? Thank you again. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Um, You're very welcome. Yes, so if you click the link in the bio, I believe it's the fourth or third button. I, th I think it's the... I think it might be the fourth button. Uh, you can go and you will see the acne and ingrown pads. Uh, you'll see the different reviews on it and the ingredients, kind of what I've already talked about. Uh, so you can do your own research and stuff on that page because it has information about the ingredients. And then um, there you can purchase. So thank you very much. Uh, amigo, um, amigo, amigo, welcome to the waxing show. Hopefully I said your name right. Amigo, amigo. That's it. Welcome to the Dibu Waxing Show. Um, she lives for love, said hi. Waving back at you. Are you saving this live? Yes, I am. I'm saving this live. So, and I will, uh, I don't know if I'll do it today, but I will put it on my channel uh, be, so you guys can watch it. I didn't do, I didn't uh, upload the last one either, but I will get to those. Like I said, I'm not in America right now, but... Um, when I get some time, I will, I will get to that. Spiritual pleasures. Yes, says, yes, me too. I need your pads. Yes, yeah, so you click the link in the bio, fourth, fourth button. And they will help you with your skin. Uh, 
5989, welcome to the Debbie Waxing Show. She lives. Um, her name is, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, so you guys have a blessed day, and I will see you next time.